Hi everyone, my name is Elizabeth and I'm here to share with you another one of my favorite easy weeknight dinners. Um, this one comes loosely from one of my favorite cookbooks, um, Hungry for More, Chrissy Teigen's second cookbook. And I am kind of loosely basing this on her black bean and mushroom enchilada casserole, but I have made some changes just to make things a little bit simpler. Um, she makes her own tomatillo sauce, which is amazing if you want to do that, but I'm keeping it simple. Anyway, that's what it comes from. So for this dish, you will need, um, for the enchiladas themselves, um, three cans of black beans, a couple big things of white mushrooms, or if you have other mushrooms, you totally could use them. These are just usually the easiest to find. Um, some garlic. I have three cloves here. Um, and then preferably jalapenos, but I actually had gotten some of these red chili peppers that are a little milder in my CSA, so I'm using these. Um, onion and, oh, some spices, which I didn't put out, but you're going to need some cumin and some chili powder, salt and pepper, and some red pepper flakes. Um, and then you will um, need some salsa verde, which um, you can make your own if you want, but basically tomatillo salsa um, to pour on top. Some shredded cheese. We have shredded cheddar, but it could be totally, it could be Mexican blend or um, whatever. Basically just any cheese works. It's cheese, so it's going to be good. Um, and um, you'll need a little bit of butter to grease the pan. And then for the toppings, um, I have some cilantro as usual, and I have a little thing of tomatoes, and I'm going to get out some sour cream when it's a little bit closer to these being ready. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is preheat the oven to 375 and just let that um, warm up while I'm getting the other stuff together. And this whole recipe should take about, um, if you count all the chopping and everything, maybe 20 minutes to prep and then it'll take about 20 minutes in the oven. So pretty easy. Let's get started. I chopped up the garlic and I washed the mushrooms. I also put the onion, I diced the onion and put it in a pot and um, I turned that on with some olive oil and that's just simmering a little bit to soften that up before I'm going to add in the mushrooms. So the onions have been simmering for just a couple minutes um, in olive oil and I'm adding in the mushrooms and the garlic at the same time. Um, hopefully not losing too many mushrooms here. And um, I'm just gonna let this all cook together and let the mushrooms um, lose like quite a bit of their juice to just, so it's not so watery. So this will be kind of a long cook. Maybe we'll let this go for eight or nine minutes before we just add the peppers and the beans and the spices and then it'll be ready to put into the enchiladas and into the oven. While the mushrooms are cooking down, I'm just um, taking some butter and greasing to um, baking dishes here. I forgot to mention that I'm making the, this recipe and it kind of, in my opinion, makes like two um, baking dishes worth, but if, and I'm doing that because we like to eat leftovers, um, but if you are a smaller family or just one person or whatever, you could totally use one thing of mushrooms and like a can or two of black beans and just less stuff and just make it um, one baking dish. But I am greasing two because it's going to be two for us and just getting these ready to pop in the oven in a couple of minutes. So I let the mushrooms cook down and I just tossed in the uh, peppers, which again should be jalapenos, but I had some red chili peppers from my CSA and I added in the black beans. Um, and so these are just going to cook down a little bit, get warmed through. Um, at this point, you are welcome to add some cumin, some uh, red pepper flakes, some chili powder, whatever works for you. 
Um, we're just kind of making this nice and not too spicy, but just really fragrant, fragrant and um, good to put in enchiladas. So in a couple more minutes, we will uh, put these in the enchilada tortillas and they'll be ready to go in the oven. Okay, so now is the kind of exciting part where we get to make the enchiladas and put them in the baking dish. I have a tiny kitchen, so I'm kind of crammed here. You can see my tortillas on my toaster. Um, so basically I have a big plate. I'm putting a tortilla down on it, and then I'm scooping out a bunch of the mixture, which takes a little while. And again, you know, I find this to be enough for a couple um, baking dishes of enchiladas, you may decide to do it differently. But I kind of put it to one side and then it is hot, so be careful when you do this. Roll it tightly and you'll have a little leakage at the edges always, that's fine. And then I kind of tuck it into the baking dish like so. And then we will just Keep repeating with both baking dishes. You should have about somewhere between eight and 10 enchiladas. So I packed the little guys into the baking tins, or baking pans, whatever you wanna call them. And now we are going to cover them with the green salsa or tomatillo salsa for your Chrissy Teigen. Maybe you made your own. I did not do that. Um, and you want to give them a good coating, make sure that it's kind of um, covering, um, there's some on the bottom of each pan too. And I, that's why I suggested two jars if you're doing two pans because um, it, takes, it takes a little bit to get it all in there. So I'm just... Covering them, that's good. A little more in here. You might use a full two jars, you might not. I'm not quite, I'm thinking a little bit. Um, and then you want to drizzle them, drizzle them both with cheese. Although actually, if you happen to be vegan, um, here's a great chance to keep this recipe vegan. You don't have to do the cheese. You could just bake them with the salsa or you could use vegan cheese. Um, I personally love cheese, so I'm going to use pretty much a whole bag on each. Um, yeah. Oh, this bag's a little bit more full because my um, partner sampled some from the other bag. So that one was a little less full, so I'm actually not going to use the full bag on this one. Um, and then you basically pop them in the oven. I'm gonna put them on for about 20 minutes. Make sure they get a little crispy on the edges. Obviously nothing has to actually bake. Um, I mean, nothing has to like cook through, it's not meat. Um, but we'll put them in until things get a little melty and crispy and then they will be good to eat. All right, so I'm about to take the enchiladas out of the oven. They ended up baking for about 25 minutes because we like them extra kind of crispy. Um, while they were in there, I did chop up a few toppings, which are totally optional. Some tomatoes, some cilantro, got out some sour cream. Um, and now I'm gonna pull them out. You can see that the cheese got nice and melty. And the edges of the um, tortillas got just a little crispy. I could probably leave them in for longer if I wanted, honestly, but it's fine I'm hungry so anyway that's that and you can scoop them out they're bubbly they're delicious and um, we'll top them with some good stuff and that's it hope you make them at home and enjoy <laughs>